Lesson 9.11, Compare Two-Dimensional Shapes. We use the words alike and different to compare two-dimensional shapes. We can compare things by seeing how they're alike, that means how they're the same, or how they're different, that means how they're not the same. So here we have a dog and an elephant. How are they alike? What is the same about a dog and an elephant? Well, both are animals. That's the same. And both have four legs. They both have a tail. That's the same. They both have eyes. They also both have ears and they both have a mouth. So those are the things that are alike about dogs and elephants. But how are they different? Well, elephants are very large and Dogs are not as large as elephants. And dogs can live in your house. You can't have an elephant live in your house. And dogs eat meat, and elephants don't eat meat. And elephants have tusks. Dogs don't have tusks. So we can sort shapes into sets of how they're alike and how they're different. To sort shapes into sets of alike and different, we can use information like how many vertices they have, how many sides they have, or if they have a curve. So remember, a vertex is where two lines meet. A triangle has one, two, three vertices. A curve doesn't have any vertices. A vertex is a corner. Circles don't have corners. And a side is a straight line. A triangle has one, two, three sides. We can compare shapes by seeing how they're alike or how they're different. A triangle and a square are alike because they both have straight sides, straight lines for their sides. And a triangle and a square are different because a triangle has three sides and a square has four sides. They're the same because they both have vertices, corners, but they're different because a triangle has three vertices and a square has four vertices. Here we have a triangle and a circle. A triangle and a circle are the same because they're both two-dimensional shapes. That means they're both flat shapes. And a triangle and a circle are different because a triangle has straight sides and a circle curves. Here we have some shapes and we can sort these shapes into sets that are alike and different by the number of their vertices. We can choose a number of vertices we want to use. I'd like to choose four. So we can put all the shapes with four vertices in the set of alike. Here we have a rectangle. It has one, two, three, four vertices. Here we have a square. It has one, two, three, four vertices. Here we have a triangle. It has one, two, three vertices. So that's not like these. This triangle would be different. Here we have a hexagon. It has one, two, three, four, five, six vertices. That's not four, so we can put this in the different set. Here we have another rectangle. It has one, two, three, four vertices, just like these. Here we have a circle. It has a curve. It has no corners, no vertices, so it's different than these. And here we have another triangle with one, two, three vertices. That's not like these that have four. So all the shapes with four vertices also are alike because they have four square vertices. They have four square corners. These shapes all have four square corners. That's how they're alike. And these shapes are different than these because they don't have four vertices. Here we have some more shapes, 
and we can sort these shapes into sets of alike and different by the number of their sides. We can choose a number of sides we want to use. I'll choose three. We can put all the shapes with three sides into the set that are alike. Here we have a circle. It doesn't have any sides. It has a curve. So that's not going to be like three sides. Here we have a red triangle. It has one, two, three sides. We can put that in our alike because this is going to be all the shapes with three sides. Here we have a square. It has one, two, three, four sides. That's not like three sides, so that's going to be different. Here we have a rectangle. It's got one, two, three, four sides. That's not like three sides, so that's also different. Here we have another triangle. It has one, two, three sides. So yes, that will be our alike three sides set. Here we have a hexagon with one, two, three, four, five, six sides. No, that's not like three sides, so that's going to be different. Here we have another square with one, two, three, four sides. No, it needs three sides to be alike, so we're going to put that over here. And here we have another triangle. It has one, two, three sides. So yes, we can put it with the set with three sides. These are all alike because they have three sides. And these are different because they don't have three sides. So remember, if two shapes are alike, that means they have something that's the same about them. The same number of vertices or the same number of sides. Our next lesson, 9.12, we're going to do some problem solving and we're going to draw to join shapes. I hope I'll see you there. I hope you keep trying hard and have a great day. Bye.